ओके नाउ लेट्स सी दिस क्वेश्चन दिस क्वेश्चन केम इन गेट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व फॉर टू मार्क्स क्वेश्चन इज लेट जी बी ए वेटेड ग्राफ एंड एज वेट्स ग्रेटर देन वन ओके सो लेट्स कंसिडर एग्जाम्पल सो लेट्स से देर आर फोर वट इस एंड दिस इज अ ग्राफ राइट सो दिस इज ए दिस इज बी दिस इज सी दिस इज डी ओके एंड एज वेट्स आर बिगर देन वन सो लेट से टू थ्री थ्री फोर ओके नाउ दिस इज जी दे आर सेंग दैट अंदर ग्राफ जी प्राइम इज कंस्ट्रक्टेड बाई स्क्वेरिंग द वेट्स ऑफ द एजेस इन जी सो बेसिकली दे आर सेंग दैट द सेम ग्राफ कैन बी ट्रांसफॉर्म इन टू अनदर ग्राफ जी प्राइम वेयर बेसिकली वट इज हैपनिंग इज दैट जस्ट दे हैव स्क्वाड ऑल द एज वेट्स सो टू बिकम्स फोर थ्री बिकम्स नाइन थ्री बिकम्स नाइन फोर बिकम्स सिक्सटीन ओके नाउ दे आर सेंग दैट लेट टी एंड टी प्राइम बी द मिनिमम स्पैनिंग ट्री ऑफ जी एंड जी प्राइम ओके सो For this graph, we have to find minimum spanning tree, and that is going to be T. And for this graph, the minimum spanning tree is going to be T prime, respectively. Now, they are saying that if the total weight of each minimum spanning tree, so for so total weight of T is T small T, and total weight of T prime is small T prime, then which of the following is true? Okay. so firstly whether the uh, uh, t and t prime whether the two spanning minimum spanning trees will be same or not let's firstly see that okay so here we can see that the minimum spanning tree there are two minimum spanning trees in fact but one minimum spanning tree can be something like this so 2 3 4 okay This is A. This is B. This is C. This is T. So this is T. What about T prime? T prime. T prime is basically this. Okay. So this is four, nine, and sixteen. This is T prime. So it looks like T is equal to T prime, but the only thing is that it is not the all, always the case so we cannot convincingly say that t is equal to t prime why because we have chosen such an example where there is a possibility that initially t could have been something like ba ad and dc this one or t prime i can choose to be something different something like this right this is also a minimum spanning tree so 4 9 and 16 this is a b C and D, and we can see that now T prime is not same as T. Okay, the the selected edges are different. That's why we cannot always say that T is equal to T prime or T is not equal to T prime. That's why actually all A, B, C are wrong. In fact, so if we can convincingly say that T is equal to T prime always, then we will look into it, these options about what are the other things given. But we cannot say that, right? We cannot say that. and that's why a and b cannot be the answer similarly we cannot also say that t is not equal to t prime why because see there are cases when they are equal right so these two are equal so we cannot always say that t is not equal to t prime so in fact c is also not worth considering and that's why the answer is d and uh, because we have just concluded from these these conditions and that's why uh, there is no need to compare about like uh, t prime and uh, and relation between t prime and t square simply the answer is d none of these